policing the police every single day. And doing what the Charlotte County Sun newspaper and local TV stations won't do every single day. Hey, Shark Gunny, this is Shark Gunny Cop Watch, and we have an update on Ian McGuire. Somebody hinted at this, so I looked into it, and they are correct. Ian McGuire is guilty, and how do I say that? As you see here, this is all of his information on his case. Look at all these neat little infos that you can contact the lawyers about, so keep that in mind if you want to contact the, contact the lawyers yourself. Uh, but uh, they were right. This is Pacer. This is the federal case. You actually got to pay for this. Uh, but this is totally worth it. I can't wait to get the evidence on this. Three freaking gigabytes of evidence. But it is right here. Um, uh, and they're asking for uh, continuance on the trial here. But um, the, uh, minute entry proceedings for considering Ian McGuire right here. So I clicked on number four. And guess what I got right here. This is Ian McGuire, and um, and this is what he's saying. Guilty. Attorney Micklin for government attorney Kevin Shirley, the defendant McGuire, who is not present defense, requests one cycle consider that a client is going to plea guilty. He's fucked. Three terabytes of evidence. They tapped his freaking phone, man. I've been worried about that for so long, it's not even funny. I even told him when I kind of used to be friends with him, I was like, beware. And he didn't care. And I think he was stupid. Uh, the, um, uh, the, the, the software that he used to spoof stuff actually records too, and I think he recorded all of it and to get rid of it. How stupid is that? So not only did they use a cell phone stinger on his phone, they had all that evidence that he recorded himself. So here you go. This is federal felony freaking charges. This is heavy duty. He is going to plea out, plea guilty. Uh, we were trying to figure out uh, what we think he might get, and uh, people are guessing seven years. I actually would agree with that. I mean, this this it, this is heavy shit that they did, man. I mean, tried to kill me by cop three times, and then all the other shit they did. Uh, with the mail going across state lines, using the phones going across state lines. Heavy federal shit. I mean, if he went to court for this with jury, up oh, 10 years, 15 years, somebody else is guessing seven years. I mean, this is heavy stuff. He's he's done. So there you go. Ian McGuire is guilty. He is going to get a plea out. So suppose we get a little bit less. And he might get a little bit less. But this is heavy stuff, man. And uh, like I said, if you want to say hi to his lawyers, all the information is right here. And uh, um, remember what our founding father said. I'd take a goddamn country back. You're a frog in the pot. The water's gone. You're on the bottom frying. And don't be an Ian McGuire. Freak auditing's great, but don't do felony shit on the side. Witness tampering. That you will get fucked and be fucked. And he's going to prison and getting possibly literally fucked. Cop policing the police every single day. Breaking news at noon. Notorious YouTuber Ian McGuire appeared in a Charlotte County courtroom this morning. He's known for recording public officials and putting them on his YouTube channel. Yeah, when the FBI raided his home, they found 36 guns and thousands of rounds of ammunition. NBC2's Claire Lavazorio joins us live at the courthouse right now. Claire, explain what happened in court. Well, I just talked to Kevin Shirley, who is Ian McGuire's attorney, and he tells me his client is a very principled man. But today, he did something he hasn't done before, and he took a plea deal for two of his misdemeanor drug charges. Now, the judge sentenced him to six months in jail, but that is essentially a wash because he will get credit for time that he has served, and he's been in jail since this summer. So that is completely a wash. But now the look is we're now we're looking forward to um, the feds and what charges they possibly could bring to Ian McGuire in terms of his harassment and stalking behaviors. His attorney tells me there's about a terabyte of evidence 
thousands of documents and thousands of recorded phone calls that will be presented by the feds when it comes to that case. But right now we do know McGuire will be back in court on January 27th for a non-jury trial to hopefully resolve his remaining misdemeanor cases that have to do with the guns that were in his home and the violation of a stalking injunction that was in place. So he will be back in court in January. You can count on NBC2 to be there. I'm reporting live inside the Charlotte County Justice Center. Claire LaVizorio, NBC2. All right, Claire, thank you very much. Hey, Sheriff County, this is Sheriff County Cop Watch. I am using any video here with under fair use. If you uh, have criticism, reporting, teaching, etc., and please donate. I do not make money from YouTube, and uh, there are different ways to donate in the uh, video links. Thanks.